So the thumbnail seemingly spoils two of the characters. However, I have an idea for why that might be, and I'm not thrilled about it. Hello, Nimble Rat. Is that too quiet? That's way too quiet. I've been working on a new dance, so let me know if you need an She's allowance. a dagger user. Okay, not what I expected, but she has the cleaner, which is not new. I think she's a demote. So that's cool. I'll take a demote. That's actually a really good demote. Hey, Garrick. I was young and stupid once. The scar is my punishment. Infantry. Ooh. Fire sweep axe. Holy shit. Hey, Plantarial. Holy shit. <laughs> they finally made fire sweep axe. I know we usually go through the whole trailer first, but I guess I'm stopping to look at all the skills first this time. They finally made Fire Sweep back. That's crazy. This is my job. He also has Darting Blow 4, which is also noteworthy. Oh, it's that child. <laughs> it's that small child. I've been training hard. Let me demonstrate. I wonder if he has a trainee boost. We have Raw Serpent. That's good. That's new. Sabotage Speed. That's a pretty big deal. He should be a demo, but he's not going to be one. <laughs> He, he reminds me of Hubert, where, like, he would make for a good emote, but Sabotage Speed is just barely too good. I forgot to record, damn it. It's alright, I'll download the stream later. I can look after myself. Yeah. <laughs> so this is happening now. No matter the foe, we'll win. Yeah, I'll do my best. Not thrilled about this. It's all going to plan. Oh god. We have Heavy Blade 4. If units attack, greater than foes attack, grant special cooldown, charge plus 1, and deals plus 5 damage to foe per unit attack. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so this base kit is obviously really freaking good. Oh, I wonder if they're uh, demoting a character straight into the 3-4 star pool. I bet they are. What if it's Marissa? <laughs> Could you imagine? Since this is Desert Mercenaries. I could see it being Dussel, actually. But I'll wait and see. Is he a horse unit? Oh, he just gave himself three movement. Let's see if we can spot the Grand Hero Battle Unit, too. Not yet. Oh, is there no 3-4 star demo? That's unfortunate. Wait, no, there is. I didn't catch who it was. Oh, it's Ross! Ross, his father's son. That's pretty cool. His base kit's gonna suck if Alvar is anything to go off of, but hey. He might have a trainee boost. I'm not sure, though. That's cool, though. I saw made another character I like suck. <laughs> Wait, who's that, Ross? Alright, we gotta look at this <laughs> this situation again. <laughs> so, this is a big deal because you only get one Heavy Blade seal. So you can only put the Heavy Blade Sacred Seal on one character. But now, you've always had the option of using Heavy Blade 3 on your A slot, but it's never been as good as using the seal slot. But now that we have this, this might be better. Or it might be just as good. Although, yeah, eh. I think if you put Heavy Blade 4 on your A slot and Sturdy Blow on your Seal slot, that is pretty much better than Death Blow 4 plus Heavy Blade. Right? That might not add up, actually. Plus 5 damage. Well, so in the end, you would get 9 more damage. You'd get 9 more attack, kind of, and 4 more defense. So, of course, no Joshua alt. Unfortunate. You know what would have been neat instead of Ephraim and Leon? Since we already have, like, five Ephraims, how about uh, Joshua and Natasha as just a random example? Yeah, not a huge on these Win. duo units. I'll do my best. It's all going to plan. I mean, I thought Hector and Alina made sense. 
sort of, because, like, obviously, maybe Lelina isn't going to fight on her own. But this just seems, like, awkward. <laughs> I haven't read Le Ephraim's Lance yet. Let me do that real quick. It's all going to plan. It's a fact they actually did Red's home at one. What's wrong with that? I, I think people like turning Garrick into a nomad. Is that is, isn't that right? But even still, I'm I I don't think anybody's surprised that they made Garrick an axe. The end. Yeah, Ross. Ross is in there. All right, I I, I gotta read this. Regan Leaf. <laughs> Hero Garrick is king. Interesting. Effective against armored and cavalry foes. Grants attack plus three. If units attack are then foes attack and or extra movement granted by another skill is active on unit, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. So, once again, Ephraim getting skill sets that synergize obnoxiously well with itself. <laughs> the only good thing for me is that Leon finally doesn't suck anymore. Is that good, though? Because, like, he's just stapled onto Ephraim. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I liked the characters more, I wouldn't be as lukewarm about it. Good enough, I might pull for Ephraim. That is a, not a bad choice. He is very good. <laughs> I might pull for him just so I can give Heavy Blade 4 to Church Key. Um, I'm going to deliberate on that a little more, though. I'm not certain about that. But yeah, he has ridiculously good fodder. It's kind of unreal. Like, for, like Church Key, for example, you could... You could give her Heavy Blade 3 from, um, what's his face? From John Key. And then you could inherit Heavy Blade 4 and Lull Attack Defense on the Church Key if you wanted to. I prefer running w Wings of Mercy, but yeah, that's just one example. Did finish my plus 10 Alm. Oh shit. That's crazy. Plus 10 Legendary Alm is insanely good. He's extremely versatile too. So you'll always score well in Allegiance Battles. You can use him on AR Defense. Yeah, that's, uh,. That's a very pragmatic investment. All right, we can take a look at these other units again too, since we kind of glossed over them. We have one on each color again. I've been working on a new dance, so let me know if you need a morale boost. Tethys used to be a sword unit. Why is Core Mag the? Oh, interesting. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta stop making the Wyvern Riders Grand Hero Battle units. I was young and stupid once. It makes sense thematically. Scar is my punishment. Well, doesn't Tethys. Wait, that doesn't. I mean, doesn't Tethys use swords? What? Am I crazy? I swear to God, Tethys can, can attack with swords. Refreshers use weapons at all? What the hell am I thinking of then? Am I thinking of Olivia? That's that's so weird. Well, anyway, <laughs> Garrick. These Grand Hero battles have been dumb recently. I just think it's odd that they're making them like, like deliberately not that exciting. Like the characters themselves, their stats aren't that great, and their skills aren't that great. Like Cormac, Har, and Conrad suck. It is extremely weird that they keep doing that. Actually, I just realized there are three dudes on this banner and only one girl, so not quite as cynical as usual. <laughs> this banner gets a, a thumbs up from from me for that alone. <laughs> and if you count Ross, that's like four dudes. And if you count Ephraim and Leon separately, that's like that's like ten dudes to one girl. And if you count Cormag, <laughs> etc. Is Amelia the only trainee to actually promote? That is actually kind of a good point, yeah. I like that they did General Amelia and Faye just because it's kind of a meme. I don't think they did it because it's a meme, but I just like that they did it. <laughs> she even has, like, the weird chain axe in her art. But yeah, for Ewen and, uh, and Ross, they didn't promote them. Or not. Not in an obvious way. Maybe Ross is somehow a berserker in this form i don't know oh wayne could have been a good mage knight i would have been okay with him being a mage knight but oh well he probably has a lot of res that's the vibe i'm getting from this duo heroes not in the permanent pool 
How does that work? Did, did they explain that as well on the notification board? Exceptions. Ephraim Dynastic Duo may or may not appear again in the summoning event held in the future. Hmm. That's such weird wording. Why would you say may or may not appear again? Maybe they're just saying, like, he'll only appear on certain banners. That's interesting. I wonder why they're doing that. I mean, I guess the obvious answer is, like, they think the duo heroes are too good to be in the normal pool, but, like, your chances of summoning an off-focus duo hero are so low. Like, why would you even bother? Oh, I see. And legendary mythic banners? Yeah. I wonder if they'll put... Probably not, but I wonder if they'll be put in there, like, as in, in the same kind of rotation as uh, legendaries. I doubt it, though. That would actually make them more available. These new banners have been really good, though. I'm really happy with how they've been doing it. Oh, yeah, Echoes was the newest banner. That's right. <laughs> I forgot. Well, I don't have much else to say. Um, I would say I'm pretty much satisfied. I don't love how they're dealing with duo heroes, but I imagine I'll warm up to it eventually. If they do, like, a Tellius combo, I'll, like, be into it probably. I hope Ross has some decent fodder. I doubt it, but yeah, I hope so too. If Valbar is anything to go off of, then he'll have, like, defiant defense. <laughs> and seal attack. I've been attacked. Yeah, it might be a while before Joshua alt happens. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if they ever will. If they'll ever do a Joshua alt. You gotta get him to win CYL, that's the only way. Scorched Earth approach. Destroy everyone in your way. Kill every last one of them. In terms of, like, other Sacred Stones characters I wish they would have added instead, I actually can't think of any. I've only played Sacred Stones once, so I actually don't have a huge attachment to very many of the characters. If fucking La Rochelle can get an ult. True. If Joshua does get an ult, it'll be a seasonal ult, for sure. You know, one thing I can say, actually, is um, in the previous two, like, new hero banners, we had Katria as a new ult, and we had uh, Sirius as sort of a new ult. I like those better than, than this. <laughs> I feel like those alts are easier to justify, because they're different iterations of the character, whereas this is just... It just is what it is. It kind of reminds me of uh, Mage Knight Erica, where it's not canon. Muldor bitch. <laughs> Fair enough. Muldor would have been a good unit to demote <laughs> directly into the 3 4 star pool. I wonder. Oh, dude. Now that they're doing, like, new. Like, actually good new hero banners. <laughs> and now that they're putting more dudes than girls on banners, I wonder if we'll finally get a, a Dawn Brigade banner. With Leonardo, or Leon, is it Leonardo or Leonard? With Leo, what's his name? <laughs> With Leonardo, Edward, and Nolan, and then like Laura, and probably like a dumb Micaiah Soth combo for the duo. Aaron would be the grand duo battle in that case. Anyway, I'm rambling. Nardo, that's his name. I don't have anything else to say, so I'm probably going to end it there.